All right, Thursday morning, TechSmart bringing 3D printing technology right here in the studio. And we've got joining us this morning, as you look at the video here, it's a printer, right? You think it's normal? but it's a whole <laughs> lot more than just a printer. 3D printers, and Brad Harris, founding member of the group and instructor for an event coming up here this morning, joining us. It's called Making Awesome. That's correct. That's the name of our uh, group. We're a community makerspace in Tallahassee. We, um, it's a group of members that got together and decided we didn't have enough room in our garages or um, spare bedrooms to, to work on our project, mm -hmm. so we, we're now renting a uh, 4,000 square foot space. and. Um, we, we like to get together and work on different projects. And we've heard about 3D printers. Uh, to me, they seem like crazy futuristic. But you were talking about making one, putting it together yourself. You started making it on Saturday, the one that we're seeing right now in our studio. That's correct. Um, the, the event, the Build Your Own Printer event, is uh, four Saturdays towards the end of October, or excuse me, the end of August into September, um, where you come in on Saturday mornings. Uh, to Saturday at lunch and then we spend a couple hours each Saturday and we build the printer and at the end of the event you walk away with your own calibrated working 3D printer. So is it a lot of plastics or how exactly is it building what, it, what it's made? Going into the back of the machine is a, f a plastic filament that gets melted. Think of it kind of like a hot glue gun where the okay. filament goes in the back and gets extruded out of a tiny nozzle. As it's extruded the nozzle moves around and lays down a specific pattern. And then the whole machine moves up and does it again and again and so on and so forth. And after you do a couple hundred layers, you can make really delicate pieces that are um, more artistic. You can do structural pieces that are very, very strong. You can do just almost trinkets or toys. This is actually mm -hmm. supposed to be a refrigerator magnet to hold oh. things on. And this is interesting. A couple of the items we have here on, on the main desk with us that has actually been made by that printer there. I, I notice when you look closely, there's like a lot of lines. So basically, is it kind of, it's doing it layer by layer. If you think of it as a string of hot plastic coming out of it and then laying on top of the rest of the strings, they get mashed down and stuck together. So yeah, that's that's exactly how it works is, is split the whole part into layers virtually in the software and then lay down each one of those. I mean, this is cool. You got so many different mm -hmm. shapes and stuff, so you're not really conformed to one particular shape. It doesn't have to be a square or a box or anything like that. How exactly do you guys design what it is you're going to end up print out? Um, I'm not that great at the design okay. side <laughs> of it, but uh, there's, there's uh, lots of open source software out there. There's uh, Vault software as well that allows you to, your imagination to create 3D parts in software, and then you just run those to the printer, and the printer figures out how to make them happen. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty I mean, cool. Magnet here. We got a name right here, my, my name written across there. So, I mean, it seems like you could pretty much do anything. Are, is, are, is it really like the possibilities are endless, whatever you can think of they, it can do? They are. Right now, you're primarily limit, limited to pr printing in plastics, mm -hmm. but there are initiatives to print in um, metals, and, and that's actually happening through different types of printer technologies, uh, 3D printing in, in metals, um, but we can print in uh, several different types of plastic and probably chocolates, um, Ooh, glass, there you go. things yeah. like that as well. Got my and attention on that one. Real fascinating stuff and making awesome there's going to be a series of workshops coming up four Saturdays in a row you'll see the information coming up here on your screen but tell us a little bit about how people can get involved in, and who really the the prime target for this program is uh, well our target has spanned from school teachers professors college students high school students um, librarians, believe it or not, uh, interested in, in understanding the technology and no, no better way to understand it than to come out and put one of your own together and take it home with you. So what it is, is the, the Build Your Own event is uh, with a registration fee that gets you the kit, we give you the kit and over the course of those Saturdays you put it together and you understand how it works. And you're talking about putting the printer itself That is correct. Well. You, you, you get a box of parts and you open it up and we, wow. we put it together. Boy Scouts eat your heart out because it's kind of <laughs> like taking the little race cars and kind of putting it up into year 2014. And I, I mean, that. you can make some cool stuff. This doesn't, I mean, it looks like fancy glassware or like a magnet you'd go to the store and buy. So it's pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this stuff eventually, too, you can also make things with, with actual purpose and. and, and uh, That's and correct. They don't, they, don't have to to be, they don't have to be artistic. <laughs> they can be very structural. Right. For example, this is a part for another 3D printer, oh. um, this particular one. So they can be very strong, very rigid, and very practical, or they can be very artistic or they can just be toys. And functional as well. Fantastic. If you'd check, like check to learn more check. about <laughs> making awesome, we've got all the details about the upcoming workshops and the whole program on the Sunrise section of our website, WTXL.TV. Don't go away. we got Money News coming up and Oscar the Sloth with Wild Adventures. All that much more coming up. Brad, thank you very thank much. You